All right, thanks for staying with us now. Ending uh, poverty remains a major global challenge. Every year on October 17th, the world marks the International Day for Eradication of Poverty, also known as End Poverty Day. This year, the theme is uh, the theme puts a spotlight on decent work and social protection, putting dignity in practice for all. I think this is a very, 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 very important day. Um, if you check the, di um, the, the diverse problems that we have and the vices that you see right, right now in today's economy, it can be largely tied to poverty. Mm -hmm. And you see this decent um, pay, um, um, what's it called? Uh, what do they call this word now? Dignity in labor. Yeah. All of those things, right, are part of what can truly eradicate poverty. Sure. In, especially here in Nigeria. Do you understand? Um, if we start to standardize certain kinds of professions, you know, we would find something. Because in everything, right, every skill you have, somebody needs it. So it is just putting that dignity in that person's labor and giving, like, decent pay. Yeah. I was watching the podcast, this, um, the um, Honest Bunch, yeah. the one they featured the comedian. I've never seen him. So I know his face. I've never known his name. Mm. The comedian, they call him, um, ah, what's his name? I'll look for his name. He was saying something around that, you know, he would charge some clients sometimes that this is what um, I charge you. That one day, one of the clients, he charged the client, I think, three million. The client came back and said to him that, I'll pay you five million. It's like even you said, you do not know your worth. worth. It's mm. very rare to find those people. Yeah. Mm. Every time, people are always Try looking for ways to change, yeah, change you. Do you understand? Yeah. It's a different thing if I say, see, I know what you're worth, but this is what I cannot afford. Mm. It's a different yeah. thing. Mm. But you know that this person is worth this thing, and you know you can afford it, mm. and yet you choose not to pay the person. Mm. That one is a different ballgame entirely. Mm. Yeah, it comes back to the dignity and labor. Absolutely. Of course, if you see certain things as beneath, mm -hmm. you know, you think it is a certain kind of people that mm. do that um, skill or that have that skill, mm -hmm. you tend to want to say, oh, I really don't think I should pay you much more than, you mm. know. Yeah, very true. It's very called Destalk, Destalker the Comedian, I think. Yes. Yeah. 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 I love oh, his name. The guy is so deep. Oh, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I was just going I, in my office like this as I was watching. Point of, I've never heard of him until when I watched that. Podcast, that podcast, right? Yes. No, that, that podcast, podcast is one of the, I think I will recommend it to yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's a Nigerian guy from um, South South. I think people, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the kinds of words of wisdom that came out of that guy's mouth, oh my God, he had, he said so packaging, many things, so many principles of wealth, the principle of giving, yeah. the, the principles of, you know, the, that look you know, in the past. Look at, yeah, uh, you know, sometimes you, it's not everything about money. He said so mm. many times that he had done things for free. Mm. It came back in a very yeah. big way. I mean, the people should go and watch. I recommend that particular episode. Mm. And the one with D1 was quite interesting. Yes, I watched it last night. Yeah. There was so yeah. much wisdom in it. Mm -hmm. You know, D1. it resonated with me yeah. because... Dio. Dio now. Adene. Adene, yes. The um, uh, Kenny the, Zayn. Kenny, oh, yes. 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 what's he doing now? Yeah. I don't know, but it's old now. No, so because, because, because even with Dial's own, it resonated with me so much because sometimes I find myself like I'm working 24 hours, so I now understand it's because I love what I do. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not all the time that it's just about money, money, mm. money. He slept for seven years, but when he started paying off, he was just going, Piam, like that. Mm. I said, Father Love. Mm. <laughs> mm. He also must pay. <laughs> he does, he has to. <laughs> all right, so quickly, what did we find in today's news? Our spokesperson says she does not have news for us. So let me start with you, um, Dami. Uh, okay. <laughs> so um, my what I found in the news is this um, story that has been going around about people's um, genitals missing. Disappearing. Ah. I mean, is there when somebody just tells you your, maybe your penis or your vagina will just disappear? I don't see any sense in that, Sha. But I mean, thankfully, I think a medical person has come to explain to us that it's actually, it could be Coro syndrome. So there's actually a medical condition called Coro syndrome. I think it happens when, um, for men, you know, when they are probably stressed, you know, when they're having anxiety or maybe even depression and stuff, you know, their manhood can shrink, you know. Maybe they're going through maybe midlife crisis, you know, they are so... <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, that was what I found in the news. Because, you know, so it would be, you know, every, I think Nigerians, everything that happens, we just think is super... Okay, uh, so the people that fetish. are confessing, what, what are they confessing to? Well, the, this person only said it could be, but I don't think that I believe that if you touch somebody, the person's uh, private parts will just disappear. I believe. That's quite extreme. 
I believe. You believe? Has it to you before? I, how can it happen? <laughs> <laughs> Not a today's issue. This happened many, many yeah, years ago. You want to understand the principle behind that thing? It, it's Honestly, just, it's me, fetish. I'm, I'm mm. It's just fetish. So it's the same what way. What will be there now? Hmm? What will be there? <laughs> so it's all of the flesh. No, for real, does this thing actually happen? Are we being serious? So all of a sudden, because the person I will now be medical it happens. As well. The person I, will be pressed and not be able to. No. Be so apparently, so when I was much younger. I know that these things happen and then people would gather on the streets and then you're wondering what's happening. And then you will see this man screaming. I mean, it, it can't be that it is fake. Screaming and saying, please, where is my... I felt someone touch me. Where is my... So, again... What do you mean, I see? Are you going to tell them to... I mean, I understand, yeah. no, I understand that um, some people actually use it for rituals. Yeah. I get that. But yeah. are you saying that all of... I think they now they've recorded like 60, over 60-something 60 people that have that have a missing genitalias. Are you saying that so all of these people, they use their genitals for ritual? No, but it must mean that this is a new kind of fetish in town. No, genitalias would yeah. actually shrink with... with, with um, it could be a medical, medical condition. condition. Like, even quite frankly. No, uh, why are they looking at that? Of course, there <laughs> is the medical... We're not talking the medical... There is the medical and side there's the juju side. There's the juju side. Juju so side. Like, no, so no, in no. Abuja, now, did you not see... I mean, to buttress your story, the guys are beginning to wear... I don't know, there was a video around... Charms? It. Yeah, charms mm -hmm. on their mm -hmm. neck. Mm -hmm. that, oh. To prevent people from <laughs> taking their... <laughs> I saw it on Twitter this morning. One more guy was like, Nigeria will make you think like an abnormal person because you're just walking the road and someone just brushed him and then he had to just quickly check his face. Is it there? Where well, that is still there? I'm like, what kind of wala is this one? Oh, God. But this is Nigeria. You can't, oh, you can't discard it. Mary, <laughs> Am I okay? <laughs> Don't touch me, oh. All right, um, today Tiwa Savage has signed in a note. She says, to my dear Savage soldiers, I've been fighting off a virus for the past few weeks and was today firmly instructed to be on strict vocal arrest for the next few months. I will unfortunately have to postpone all performances, including my first ever headline arena show in London. I'm heartbroken and devastated, but I have to do this to save what's left of my voice. I'm so sorry. I love you all, and I promise to be back performing once I'm fully healed. Yeah, That's sending sad. her lots sending of love. Sending her lots of love. She's, she's, lots of love. she's been on tour. For, yeah, ah, for a while. She has so yeah. much energy on stage. She does. Mm -hmm. She does. She's a performer. She's, she is. She's, she is. She is. And she has. And the uh, Yemi Aladi and that Niniola. No, Niniola. Yemi Aladi. 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 I, I should not be twisting. There's a way she twists her lot. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's yeah, that's yeah, that has twerking out. I want it's a special kind of, but mm. Tiwa has been busy. I really pray for her yeah. because this oh. thing, eh, when it starts to affect their vocal yeah. cords, there's mm. really nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. Some of them have to even go through surgery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we yeah. pray for you, sending you lots of love. Let me yeah. come back to Nigeria. <laughs> Our almighty Third Milan Bridge. Ah. In fact, Third Milan Bridge now a debt death trap that's what uh, motorists are lamenting um this is they're raising concerns over the um what they describe as a deplorable state of third Milan bridge and they have called on the government to immediately fix the bridge um which is the longest amongst the three bridges that connect lagos island with the mainland um the about 11.8 kilometer bridge starts from over Shoki and ends um, from the over Shoki end of the mainland and ends at the Adeniji Adele, uh, Adele interchange on Lagos um, Island. So, honestly, when you're driving on Third Mainland Bridge, you have to be extremely, extremely careful. careful. There yeah. are really bad potholes. Mm -hmm. And you see, what really irks me is this is the same bridge, my dear daddy, and <laughs> big uncle. But me, you know, go had me to call you out. I mean, first love shut down that bridge for, for, for a like very long time. Hmm. For a very long time. Like, so it is actually... And you know what they, they were saying? Okay, the um, then minister, he only worked on the joints. But it, it doesn't make sense to me that, you know, you shut down a bridge and you know that there's a pothole somewhere and you're just working on, the, on joints alone. Hmm. 
would you not see that that pothole needs to be resurfaced or whatever it is? The several videos have been It's never been this bad. bad. It's really it's bad. Really, now. Really, really bad. Third million is really bad. It's, really it's a scary thing. I think the potholes, they are too yeah. deep. They are extremely deep. They are too it's deep. deep. It's almost like you want to see the water. Yes. yes. Do you understand? It's almost like you want to see the water. We are inviting you to come and see the water. We are. Don't be me. <laughs> Don't be me. So please, oh, we are calling on the government. Uh, so please, we are begging. We are begging, oh, please. please, because the, our lives. this this place now, you know, there are so many things. Um, at least third mainland is even better. Like going to the mainland is even better. There are three routes to the mainland. I mean, mm -hmm. unlike um, this our Lake Ekwe, there is just one road. Huh. You know. So, but I'm saying that. Yeah, we can manage a lot of things, but Third Milan is a very heavily mm. used uh, bridge, bridge that we yeah. cannot afford mm. to have the kind of potholes yes. that we see on that road. And, you know, it's just so sad. Billions go into this project. So sometimes Every I year. think that, is, is it not penny-wise, powerful? like literally, if it, this was my business, would I not just find a permanent solution? Like, you don't see people doing roads all the time in other developed countries. They just do it, bam, they don't move. Before they will come back to that road. To take centuries. Because why? The mixture. Because there's a certain mixture yeah. that would stand the test, the, of, the time. test of time. So how we, we keep repeating the same, same thing, thing is what I cannot understand. At the same time, I think um, bitumen, which is that mm -hmm. black hole, would always require maintenance. Yeah. So if we don't keep maintaining it, the only one that will not require much maintenance is when you use um, concrete. Oh, concrete, yeah. yeah. Like no, the but one even the asphalt Dangote. mixture is a mixture of granite. It's not just it's not just bitumen alone. Yes, but so then that, that, that's, if you don't maintain, no, it, that's the it point. No, there are still there are still roads like that in other parts of the climb. It is the concentration. Do you understand? So it might be that they would put more of the granite and more of the concrete. Do you understand? And less of this. Mm -hmm. There is a specification. That these roads can last for years mm -hmm. without having to come back to touch it. It is the it is the idea that we keep fixing the same roads in this country that just disturbs me. It is the idea that I need to do something for my people mm. if I'm in a position of government. It's as simple as that. Mm. We we'll take a break, Biko. Let's discuss demolition of houses. Mm. Our spokesperson will take mm. us further. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm.